Hey everybody, you know me, Paul with Washington Pro Carpet Cleaning. And in today's video, I'm going to chop this job down to just the one worst room and then I will post the rest of it in another video. They had a sectional. You can clearly see it's white carpet as well, so it's going to be quite a job. This is just part of the walkthrough. This is another room downstairs. And then there's also a living room, dining room, but I wanted to show you they've been using a home Bissell pouring the shampoo in that and just going over the carpets, which is kind of a problem. A high suction uh, rigid and then their vacuum, but I'm gonna go over it with the 3M scrubbing pad and then I'm gonna try out this Challenger um, soft bonnet and see how it works, as well as some additional Iron Man pads. Figured I would try out Ang Angry Lemon. This is from the NCAP store. It's a higher pH. It's made or formulated for nasty restaurants and whatnot. And I'm using the Mighty ECO 14. And again, this is the white 3M scrub pad. I'm gonna pre-scrub all these areas. Obviously, it's been two years, I guess, since the carpets have been cleaned other than self-cleaned with the Bissell, which I think it'd be better off not cleaning it at all because the Bissell self-cleaning usually overwets the carpet and leaves a residue behind. And the longer that alkaline or soapy residue stays in the carpet, especially like in these traffic areas, it just frays and burns the carpet. It's called alkaline burnout. And then it's basically permanent damage. So I'm not looking for a miracle here. So don't look for a major transformation, but I did decide uh, this would be a great chance to try out the Angry Lemon. It is a end cap that uh, will uh, dry down to a crystal, so that's a good thing.
And I am going to be, you can see, going over this in multiple directions just so I can get the, the best scrub available before I extract it with the pads. And I will say the Mighty is doing a fabulous job. And in the video, I'll probably post the rest of the video tomorrow where I do uh, four bedrooms upstairs, a master closet, a hallway, a set of stairs, uh, this um, family room and then I have an, that office or the other bedroom downstairs as well as living room dining room. The living room dining room is pretty soiled and it has dog pee little piddle areas and the staircase has pee all over it as well and so in tomorrow's post you'll see me use uh, the war on pee which is a new product that's coming out at the end cap store. It is a biodegradable enzyme. Pretty amazing. It smells like vanilla. Love the scent. And I'm also going to be using uh, Magic Bullet. This is the first time I've tried Magic Bullet. It's a spotter that can be um, either RTU ready to use or you can mix it one, two parts to, or one part to two parts. Pretty simple for a spotter, but it gets rid of those mystery stains or spots that you are unsure about and I had one that was uh, some type of graphite I don't know if it was from a, a printer or if it was a pencil sharpener or whatnot but the guy told me he thought it was graphite so uh, it wouldn't come out just with a clean so I hit it with some magic bullet and it came right out which is pretty phenomenal so look for that video. I'll post that tomorrow, Sunday. Today is Saturday. And again, this one is very, very soiled and probably has a lot of alkaline left from the self-cleaning. It is a white carpet off. Well, it's actually not an off-white. It is white. It's just the camera. The way the lighting is coming through the window, uh, it's kind of... Yeah, this is not real early morning, but it is morning. It's going to take me a while to go through just this one room. And we'll try and pre-scrub as much of that out. They, you can obviously see they had a area rug right in the center there. So that protected that portion of the carpet. Sometimes that's a bad thing because... Now when you're getting them cleaned, all the areas that were exposed to the UV light or sunlight through the windows, as well as foot traffic and wear, it's going to be difficult to blend the carpet and make it look uh, kind of neutral or clean. So. Let's take a look at the Challenger pad or I'm sorry, the 3M pad. And then I'll start off with the Challenger pad, see how that does under the Malish pad driver. And these are supposedly a 50-50 blend, cotton and something else. Feels really thick, pretty nice. It was given to me um, as a, just a gift and I think it was uh, either Dave or Dan, probably Dan, um, who is familiar with Washington Pro Carpet Cleaning down there at the Challenger shop. And I had bought a pad driver for the Auric and had some problems. They took care of it right away. So they sent me this, figured I'd give it a whirl. It seems to be doing a pretty good job. It is a 50-50 blend cotton and I believe polyester, so it's operating pretty smoothly on there. I will go back. I don't show it on this video. I'll just show, uh, for time's sake, using the Challenger pad. 
and then I'll show you what it looks like here in just a moment after getting some of these high traffic areas and then I will end up using oh I think I used two more Iron Man pads and I do respray it a little bit and go back over it just to see if I can get it any lighter and then I'll show you the final results we can discuss what you think and again you want to keep in mind I did I sprayed this with my work sprayer and I did spray it pretty liberally meaning I put quite a bit down on the traffic lanes themselves so I definitely wanted the angry lemon to have an opportunity to do its work and like I said angry lemon is gonna destroy the dirt but it is it can't repair the damage that is done to the fibers and I, I hate watching videos where the guy starts off giving excuses and excuses and excuses but <laughs> when you do a a job like this this is where you set the expectations up front ahead of time with the customer obviously they know it's white carpet it's been two years there's potential alkaline brownout from uh, the Bissell that they were using you know self cleanings non-professional cleanings um, and two years of doing that stripping any potential stain master DuPont Teflon the protection off the carpet so the foot traffic spill stuff like that becomes uh, ingrained into the the fiber without having any type of protection so this one will dry down to a crystal and be vacuumed away if there's anything left when I'm done and I'm not going to wait around for an hour to um, see if it lightens up even more so I can get a really good picture of the final effects you'll we'll look at it from a standpoint of it still being a little damp and needing an hour to dry uh, it should come out pretty good but I think most people understand like a white t-shirt if you wash it and you're going to hang it out on a laundry line in the backyard while it's damp you hang it up and the sun shining on it it appears gray as it fully dries it whitens up right same premise with uh, you know the darker areas that will be left behind so let's take a look at the pad all right pretty dirty did a good job all right now let's look at the results you can see you can still see the patterns the strange thing is where the rug was in the middle appears darker than the uh, outside areas which is strange but all of that will lighten up as it dries from where i sprayed it pretty heavy let me know what you think in the comments not a miracle but hey do you like the angry lemon let me know if you had any experience with it, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.